Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from the ECF forums and host of Vape TV Live. Hey baby, how you guys doing, man? Happy fucking Tuesday! Forget about it! Hey man, I'm actually kicking it, man. I'm kicking it with my Opus, with my k Fun ES over here, thanks to Cloud9 Vapes. Mmm. Mmm. Cloud9 Vapes with their K-Funds, bro. Forget about it. And inhale it as far as with the Opus, but this thing is hitting really good. But I'm here because I got your email. You asked me, can you show me how to do a dual coils on the K-Fund? No freaking problem. Now, I'm going to show you on the Mini because on my K-Fund, I actually just built it today. So, and it's, mm, it's the same kind of build that I would actually use, which we're going to be doing on the actual Mini over here. So I'm going to be actually showing you all together as far as how you do these dual coils on there. Forget about it. It is just so simple, so easy to do. Um, and, you know, I, I know a lot of people may have some issues, but that's okay. You can also do a single coil. Okay, yeah, you can do a single coil, but I know you didn't ask single. You asked duals. All right, I get it. I get it. I get it. Forget about it. You're going to get your duals, all right? This is on the K-Fun Mini dual coils. Forget about it. So here we are. We got here our K Fun Mini, okay? And these are all the pieces. Yeah, shoot me in the head, right? Forget about it. Oh, but I tell you, this thing over here kicks ass. It totally kicks ass. Um, for a couple of reasons, you have a a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, air control, which is right on this base really 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 good i mean this thing over here this thing over here has uh this screw let me see if i can focus that for you to make it a little easier see that yep that screw is an adjustable air that you can screw in and screw out and adjust the draw Thanks, Russ, for the tip, I got to say, because I wasn't really liking it too much, and, and I thought that was just, I removed it all the way out, and it was extremely, extremely airy, and um, I thought I would get some leakage of juice, but no, that wasn't the case. This right here is your air control valve, okay, and this is the deck of the k Fun Mini. Very tiny, very, very tiny, okay? It's kind of like a miniature penny, if you think about it, okay? So... Now, what we're going to do, okay, so this also comes with an extended mouthpiece, long piece that gets connected for extra long mode, which I really don't like because it's too cool of a vape. It cools down the vape, and technically that's not really what I actually enjoy, so I kind of like it a little bit warm. That's my, you know my enjoyment at 0.6 ohms so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to put that on the side now also it comes with a clear window tank and a stainless steel window okay cool right forget about it okay so we'll use that okay and these are the components that we're going to be needing that we're going to be using forget about it okay oh ho. so let me first there is an o-ring in here which I'm making sure it's in see that it's very very important that this thing is in because if it's not guess what you're gonna get leaks yeah you're gonna get leaks it has to be totally totally flush right in there let me focus that for you see that it has to be flushed in okay that way okay otherwise you'll have some issues okay comes with a mouthpiece okay and this is the mini teapot that I like to call which screws on there you go this thing's nice really beautiful really beautiful very good craftsmanship so what we're gonna do is let's get working on the coils I'm gonna be using um, vape wire over here thanks to inhaler okay you can get them from him I got mines from him. Now, this is Temco, okay? It's more of an affordable way of getting it reasonably sized, okay? You get 30 feet, okay? And this is mainly for 
a single guy that's just making a few addies. That's it. Um, unless you're making bulk addies, winding up a lot of coils, 20 addies or so, 50 addies a week, then I would suggest then go on to a bigger spool. But this right here is perfect if, you know, you only have like about five or six addies that you do like every other week or so. Okay, this is more than enough. Forget about it. Okay, so we're not going to use non-resistance wire. No need. Nope, 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 nope. So, what I'm actually doing right now is peeling. Okay. There we go. It's a new reel. Okay, so what I tend to do on these new reels, okay, don't let them dominate you. Okay, what I do is I stick it up on the hole like so, and there we go, and it's going to hold, okay? It's not going to unfasten, unwind. Now, we're going to be using 30 gauge, okay? And we're going to cut about almost a dual three inches. Okay, one on the side. So we're going to go about almost three inches. And what I'm going to do is, like I usually do, we're going to be twisting the negative points. Okay, so we're going to twist this. Okay, and what I like doing is, I just use two pair of pliers. I pinch one end, okay, then I go right away and I pinch the other end. And what I do is, in a circular motion, I twist. Yep, I twist. Okay. And you only need to twist a very, very small amount. Let me focus that for you. See that? So we're only going to be twisting just a very small amount because this is what's going to going to be needed. Let me just twist some more on the twisted edge. And there we go. This is how much we're going to be needing. Okay, that's about it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we'll spread them evenly and we cut them and we cut them should have something like this two wires okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using I'm gonna be using a uh, a 330 second drill bit for this and I'm going to do five wraps. Straighten out the wires. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply pressure on the junction point of the twist. Okay. Holding my hands like that. And very evenly. And I do this extremely tightly. Okay. I do my first wrap. Hold down my thumb. Bring down the next one. And... When you do this, I'm going to show you in a bit, but see how it looks, okay? And then what we do is very smoothly we keep wrapping, okay? So I lost count, okay, that's three, that's four see that I got a total of five now I have the two negatives right here and I have the other two negatives down here okay which I'm holding okay now what I'm gonna do is this one needs to be twisted okay yes twisted 
So what I'm doing is holding it with my f finger. I'm going to take the pair of pliers and apply it right on the edge. Okay, and while I have it pinched, take my other set of pliers and I'm going to start twisting it. Okay. And because I do this because of the um, the nuts, the the screws that we need to screw this in are so tiny. Um, this would help in gripping the two wires together a lot more solid, and you'll get a better better solid connection. Okay, so I'm just twisting it, twisting it evenly. Okay. Here it is, and it's so easy to work on this this base. It's not even funny. I mean, it's just it makes things so much easier, so simplistic. What I'm gonna do is where that center hole is. That's where all the air. When you're gonna be um, drawing your vapor, it's gonna be shooting from this center. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep these wraps right. These wraps right in the center. Right in the center. Oh, just like that. See that? I'll do it again. See that? Oh, there you go. It's in the center. Okay. Now, with my big umpa lump of thumb over here, okay, I'm holding it down. Now, if I can do this with big freaking fingers like this, you can do it. Forget about it. There's no freaking way. There's no freaking way you can't. No, you can't say you can't. Uh-uh. No way, Jose. Okay. So now, we lift up the negative screw. Okay, we're going to lift up that screw. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be pushing the wire underneath that screw. Okay? Now, because it's twisted, it's so much easier. Let's see. See that? It's so much easier to put it right underneath the screw. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tie it. Gonna tie it down. Just like that. Okay? And now we're going to work on the other side. Okay, so now... The two screws are tightened together. See that? That's one method. Also, the next thing what you need to see is, you see this part right here? Let me see if I can zoom that in. There you go. You see that's touching? Okay, you don't want that to be touching. So what I do is a seesaw method, very gently seesaw method and lift it up a little and voila see that now there's a gap okay you don't want to make you don't want the wires to be touching the base so now very gently i remove this and there you go see that okay now if you feel if it's still touching that's okay enter it back see very gently and readjust very small gap so now we'll cut the endpoints. Cut the tails off. And I just want to do a final inspection. This is what it looks like. Now we're still not done yet. Now we're going to do a quick dry burn. And work out if there is any hot spots, which there shouldn't be. Um, as you can see, let me put that up close. See that? Beautiful. Totally beautiful. Now, if the coils and the wraps were touching the base, that thing would just pop. It will, nothing will blow, the coil will break, it will pop. 
okay and you'll have a hot spot but as you can see it's just evenly glowing okay now the, the wraps are very tight together okay they're, they're, they're close together as far as touching clamped up together okay and this is my my method of doing a micro coil on this is a dual coil okay so now she firing okay so oh let me focus that for you all right so as you can see we're at 0.6 ohms okay 0.6 well that's upside down 0.6 ohms dual coils baby micro style on the k-fun light okay so getting back to business all right <coughs> let's mount this back on now what i'm going to use is some cotton wick and i have to thank uh effie and dino because i've been searching around for some decent cotton wick and i've tried cvs I've tried many others. Some have been successful. Some I haven't. Uh, most of these cotton wicks, um, there, you know, there's a lot of petricide and uh, uh, bleaching that's been done. And <laughs> let me tell you, I've even boiled it many, many hours, and it still tasted like bleach and ammonia and stuff. So uh, it took me a while to find these organic cotton balls. Uh, the ones that I'm actually using is the uh, Maxim, these, okay, Maxim, okay, these are the ones I'm actually using for this, okay, see, I was kind enough to even show you, okay, which cotton balls to fucking use, forget about it, because there's some assholes out there, they won't even show you diddly squat, uh oh, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to be using is vanilla custard from Fluid Vapor, and this is the juice I'm going to use. So what I like doing is the following. Just rubbing a small amount onto the actual cotton. Okay. Just a small, small, very light. Okay. Very light. Then I do the little turning. Okay. This little process right here. Okay. And then what I do is. Okay, let me zoom that in so I can show you. Okay, what I do is take the cotton, and what I do is very gently, there we go. I just get it to the other side. Once it's there, however, it's all she wrote. Forget about it. It's like a fish that got caught. That's it. Okay, and I just snug it in. Just a little bit more, because I don't want to alter the, the the wiring. There we go. Okay, so that's about it. Now what I'm going to do is... Cut that piece off. Cut that piece off. This is what it looks like. Forget about it! Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, that's what it looks like. So now, guess what? We can actually continue on the build, okay? So, okay, so it's in the housing. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to drip. And as I'm dripping, I'm poking the cotton to go down on the side. So, there we go. I want it on the side. So, it's not overlapping or protruding into the threads. And this cotton is just a soaking up this juice like there's no tomorrow. See, that's what it looks like. Focus that. Okay. 
Okay. Now that that's done, we can continue the rest of the build. This next. Okay, so we put this on. Now we put in the clear window. Force of habit from the pennies, I tell you. But here we go. We're back in business. Forget about it. Okay. That's what it looks like so far. All right. Now the next thing we're going to be needing is juice. Now some people fill it. Uh, instructions is obviously you can use that as your fill hole. I'm not normal. I'm not like everybody else. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to press my finger, my thumb finger, right over the middle hole. And I'm going to press it. Press, I mean literally press on it, okay? So as you're pressing on it, you fill it up with juice. Fill it up with juice. Okay, it, she filled, and as I have it pressed, I'm going to put this in very gently, just a turn, there we go, I got a turn in there. Now what I do is, I turn it upside down, wait for this thing to travel up, the air bubble is getting there, there's the air bubble okay she up there now okay so now that she's up there I can start doing this okay now once I do that I can put in the drip tip and bring it down And I get my paper napkin just in case I did a booboo. But let's see. No, nah, everything is good. No booboos. Beautiful. No leakage, no nothing. It's freaking great. So now what that means is I'll put on my GGTS. Okay. Now this is dual coils, 0.6 ohms, okay? Using 30 gauge canthal. Okay, forget about it. And this is with cotton. Straight out cotton balls, baby. And this thing is bitching good. And as you can see, see the bubble? It's forming already. Bubbles are forming, see? And it works. Mm. Delicious. Totally, totally delicious. Oh. In fact, I'm going to adjust the air draw on this. Make it a little bit tighter. And the way we can do that is with that screw right in there, okay? So what I'm actually going to do is just make it a little tighter. Much better.
Oh, yeah. She pumping now, guys. She's totally pumping. Oh, man. And now the cotton is starting to really, really work. Oh, and it's sucking up that juice, boy. It's sucking up that juice. Oh, what a wonderful vape. That is a tremendous, tremendous vape. Forget about it. So, there it is. K-Fun Light. Cotton. Dual coils. Forget about it. Michael Style. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Live hard, baby, and vape hard. Forget about it.